Welcome to Excellent Grades Academy. This is Dr. Bison E.M. And today we're looking at organic chemistry. Organic chemistry, tutorial sheet 4. Let's get into this video. So this tutorial sheet is from the University of Zambia. And uh, that's what you'll be doing. So let's get into it. So they're saying, question 1, predict the major organic products of the following reactions and they say reaction mechanisms are not required so when you look at this reagent that is reacting here this reagent is a ketone it's a ketone why because you've got a carbon here that is double bonded to an oxygen and this carbon is not a terminal carbon so this is a ketone here this ketone is reacting with this reagent here. So you see this reagent has got an M magnesium and bromide at the end. So this is a Greenland. So this is a Greenland reagent. I'm going to show you the reaction mechanism soon. But in this point, at this stage, we're just going to predict the reaction. So what is going to happen is that this carbon that is attached to the magnesium and bromine is going to join at the carbonyl carbon here. So what you're going to have is this product here. So you have this one here, and then at this point you have another carbon like that. And then you have got this carbon one, two, three. Okay. So there the oxygen here that is double bonded to this carbon is going to turn into an alcohol like that and then this methyl group is going to be this one here so the how many carbons are here one this carbon here two three so you're going to have one two so one two three one three so one two three one two three and then this carbon is attached to this oxygen and that so this is what is going to be the predicted product this is what is going to be the predicted product plus the chloride in solution that remained plus okay plus that so this is going to be the product of this reaction here so what happened here i'm going i'm going to explain in the in the slide that is going to follow okay so number 2 what is the predicted product here so this is a ketone as well. So this is a ketone. And this is a Greenland reagent. So we draw this. And then, so this oxygen here that was double bonded to the, the oxygen that was double bonded to the carbon is going to be turn into an alcohol so just a minute i just put this here okay and then this methyl group is going to be here like that so this carbon here that was attached to mgr are these one two three so you're going to say carbon one two the third carbon is attached to an oxygen so this oxygen and it has another methyl plus the chlorine plus the MGBr so these are going to be the predicted major organs so this is the major organ here and then this is the major organ here 
these are just other products not major organs but major products so these are just other products so this is the major product there and this is the major product here so these are going to be the products that will be produced in this reaction now let's try to see the how the reaction mechanisms are occurring in these reactions i know they were not required but you need to know how the reactions occur when you react a ketone with a greenant so let's look at the reaction mechanisms the reaction mechanisms for number one so reaction mechanism So the first one was, if I'm not mistaken, it was like this. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so the ketone was here, and this was reacting with this here. One, three like that and then this was placed in dilute hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid now what you need to know is that this greenard reagent this is called a greenard reagent the greenard reagent is such that this carbon here that is attached to the magnesium and bromide is negatively charged is partially negatively charged and the magnesium here is partially positive charge charged so if i break down this greenard reaction it's going to be like this so this will be negatively charged and the magnesium bromide there will be positively charged so it's like an ionic compound now we know in a ketone that this carbon here that is double bonded to the oxygen is partially positively charged so this negatively charged from the grignard reagent is going to come and attack there on the partially positively charged when it attacks attacks on the partially positive one pi bond is going to break like that after the pi bond breaks what to form is this product here the oxygen who have uh, six electrons so it will be negatively charged and then the methyl this methyl is this one here then this carbon is going to attach there so this is one two three so it will be one two three and then it has an ether there all right now this negatively charged oxygen is going to attack the acid that is in solution so the acid that is in solution here is going to be attacked like that so what is going to form is this product now okay So this is a product that is going to form and in solution what remains is this this chloride it took the electron so it's negatively charged and this the magnesium bromide so this is how the reaction occurs that is how the reaction occurs so when you react a ketone with a grignant reagent, that is how the reaction occurs. Let's look at the reaction mechanism of this other one. Okay. So number two. Let's look at how number two reacts. So you've got this ketone here and reacting it with this grignant here. 
So first you react it with Grignan, with a Grignan reagent, and you've placed it in dilute hydrochloric acid. So we know that the Grignan uh, reacts like an ionic compound, where the carbon that is attached to the magnesium bromide is negatively charged, negatively charged, and the magnesium bromide is actually positive. So this negative carbon is going to react at this partially positive center. So it will um, react there. And then the pi bond is going to break there. So what you produce is this. Okay, that is what you produce, this methyl. And then this carbon one, two, three, that. And then this negatively charged carbon will react with the chloride in solution, the hydrochloric acid in solution. Like that, that goes, and then what you have is this. So you have You have a tertiary alcohol that is formed at the end of the day. So this is the major product. I was saying organ in the previous uh, <laughs> solutions. Major product plus the chloride that left, which is negatively charged, plus the magnesium bromide, which is positively charged. So that is how these products are produced when you react a ketone. Let me change the, so when you react, this is a ketone here with a Grignan reagent. So know how the, the Grignan reacts with the ketone, the chemistry of a Grignan react reagent and how it reacts with the ketone. I hope this really helps you and in your future reaction mechanisms, when reaction mechanisms are required, you guys will be able to solve this with ease. All right, the next one that we're going to do will be question two. If you want to solve this question with me, you can register on plus two six zero nine seven five four nine seven seven nine zero. We have solved the entire tutorial sheet for. Okay, so solutions. For tutorial sheet four are all available. All available. Just contact us and let us learn organic chemistry together. I'll see you in the next video. All right, all the best.